Hello. Good afternoon. How are we all doing? Can we have an AV check to get us going here? Hope you've all had a good week. Welcome to the Friday stream, I think. The days are a bit of a blur for me this week. I think it's Friday. I hope so. At least it turned up on time, right? Get a shave. <laughs> ben, thank you for four months. Sorry about the uh, the intros of the intro highlights have not changed this week. It's been an exceptionally busy week, and uh, it's going to stay like that all the way until the end of Monday for me. So uh, I'll get it changed for next week. It's Thursday, Bob. Is it? <laughs> it's definitely Friday. Called to my phone. So have you all had a fun week? Anything exciting happened? Smithy, thank you for 19. Welcome back. Loopy Loop, thank you for 20. One, two, three, flow. Welcome back. Is he on a eye-shaped desk now? Snake, what do you mean? How am I doing, Night Talk? Busy, 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 busy week. You just cleaned out your bedroom and you found some cashew nuts under your desk. I advise you don't eat them. <laughs> you just passed its MOT, Stevie. Nice. Today, your nephew is getting his first passport and his mum and dad. Are they going to celebrate by flying somewhere? <laughs> I hate getting my passport. Like, you look at it and you look at the photo and you just think... I don't think anybody has a good passport photograph. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jen Souza, good evening. The intro video is funny. I hope you're well. And it's just a month or four year. I'm fine, thank you, Jen Tzu. Thank you for almost a year. K Steen. Keep the good work sitting here and playing satisfactory beside your stream for 38 months, K Steen. Thank you. Crazy Train, 47. X Sphere Dragon, 58. Big numbers. You're thin on your passport photo, Dave. Well... I'm guessing it's up for renewal real soon then. <laughs> your girlfriend knocked your front tooth out yesterday. Oh dear. <laughs> they look at me like I ate the person who's really in the picture. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Nata. Hey, MPR. Today's the first day of walking without crutches or getting there at least. Nice one, Smithy. Uh, Pringle, clocking some more overtime on the channel. Pleasure as always, sir. Feel the warmth. Thanks for 54 months, Pringle. Egregious, welcome back. What do you mean, mean, Jack? Dave's saying these things about himself? <laughs> anyway, today I thought we'd try a new game. Rise of Industry. It was sent over to me. They sent me a key and said, try this. We see you like Satisfactory and Factorio to try this. So, okay, let's have a look. It's an early access on Steam, as far as I know. It comes out in May, I think. Mr. Heli Pilot, how are you doing? Good morning. I was about to say you're up early. Well, you kind of are, actually. The Ashman Studio. Actually, you're only a four hours gap currently, aren't you? Ashman Studio... Uh, happy to catch you live despite the time difference. Looking forward to the Squirrel New Year. Keep up the great work. Happy anniversary. Yeah, it's... it's um, Yachts 5 begins on Tuesday, guys. We're closing out on year 4. Amazing. Egregious. Two-year hype. Factorio with stonework graphics. Lol. Feel the triangles, Jack. Feel the triangles. Yachts 4.9998 gens. Anyway, let's uh let's sandbox scenarios, I don't know. Happy Tutorial, I guess. Video Happy. guides. Mod manager. Ooh, it's got mod support. Is there a party plan on Yachts 5? Nope. <laughs> the Yachts weekend is not this weekend, next weekend. Unfortunately, the second of April falls on a Tuesday, which is not a streaming day, so. Kilmowski, 34 months, double sub hype. Looking forward to Yachts 5. 
So the t-shirt is nearly ready. I got a, uh, I got a sample sent to me. Um, just got some adjustments to make. Uh, should be able to get that live fairly soon, a few days time. Bit too fast for you. 56 months there. Thank you very much. Hope you're well. Are you going to truck fest by the way? Bit too fast. How am I finding the new schedule? Um, I quite, I'm, I'm getting used to it, Sharpie. It's, it's definitely proving beneficial in terms of like YouTube and stuff. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. But it's okay so far. Ashman, thank you very much for the 500 bits. Now I've got that song stuck in my head. It's the final countdown. <laughs> right, tutorial mode. Let's find out how we play this game. Welcome to Rise of Industry. A game about testing your entrepreneurial skills. Here are some instructions to give you a head start. Start off letting us learn how to move around and use a camera. WASD, yeah. Shift, WASD. Right mouse button for pen. Ooh. Well, not, that's going to freak me out. I'm used to that being rotate in Skylines. Q and E to rotate. Okay. Scroll wheel or page up, page down to zoom. Oh, look at the little triangle trees. Look at the polygon trees. They're nice. Like, everything's a polygon. Look at it. Are there any raster graphics or is everything polygons? Blimey. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, Dave. You might do Truck Fest. You're flying a 747 UPS from Oslo to Norway, Oslo, Norway to New York. Long haul. Uh, wait, why are some of my messages not shown on the on-screen chat, Jensen's? Well, the last one I saw was, oh, well. But before that, we're close anyway. Before that, squirrel hype. Are we missing something? Open up Chatwick Town Centre. Chatwick Hamlets Rural... Population 32,000. That's a bit more than a hamlet. I mean, 32,000. <laughs> I don't know what the population of Chelmsford is, but I reckon it's not that. Um, open up Chatwick region tab. Surface area, 8,906 tiles. Resources, fish, sand, water, and wood. A logistical permit allows for the building or or demolishing of roads and the construction of logistical buildings like trade depots or warehouses. We also have similar permit for gatherers. A full building permit allows you to build and demolish anything you want in that region. We will need to buy this one for this tutorial. Buy a full building permit. $445,000. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Uh, see you later, sir. Twitch chat's not oh, working, but yeah, some messages yeah. are showing up on your feed. Okay, is Twitch having issues then? Kilmowski, here's a tenner I found in my shed. <laughs> Thank you, Kilmowski. Appreciate that, sir. Uh, close the panel. Okay, open up the gatherer tab on the construction bar. So what now? Oh, okay down here then networks tunnels bridges gatherers farms factories logistics prototype administrative buildings terraforming jeez man it's quite a lot going on here on the on-screen chat seems to be moving dave uh magic dexter thank you very much for subbing first sub of the day magic can we give him a nutty welcome guys thank you for your support and welcome to the nut house blue lion what do you think the map extension for ets2 is i know what it is i can't say <laughs> i also know what's in the next euro truck and some of the things you're gonna like but i can't say <laughs> uh a water siphon like the gatherers uh collects raw resources to be used in farms and factories to generate other products the water siphon uses harvesters to collect units of water from any body of water on the map there's a water siphon in the area highlighted. Do 
use R to rotate, isn't it? Oh, there you go. I would have thought you'd have put something here. After placing the water siphon, it will need a few harvesters placed. A, a harvester collects raw, raw resources and brings it back to the gatherer. You may need to rotate the harvester to place it. Right, so, okay. So that is like gathering... No, that's harvesting water. And then this is gathering the water. What's going on there, then? Okay. Close the gatherer construction panel. Um, solid bond, Walker back. It's like Command and Conquer. All right, Dave. Roads. Oh, can't press R. Click on it. Uh, place, the, place the dirt road. Place the road by clicking on the... Okay. The water siphon is running, so there's no need to um, power it then, by the look of it. I think chat may have completely died. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I think my chat has died. Let me just double check something. See if I can see in here. No? Oh, yep. Yeah. Dave says hello. I think something's going on with chat. <laughs> I'll keep talking and assume you're here. Hey, Sommy. Uh, the water siphon is running. Raw resources like water and sand can be collected infinitely as long as you keep paying the upkeep. Okay. Raw resources like water and sand. Right, so this never runs dry. Oh, trucks. Oh, yeah. Polygon trucks. Looks like we're in like the 1920s or something. Champs of population is 168,000. Really? I would never have guessed that many people in Chelmsford. I've, I'm shocked by that. No, that didn't come through. I've, I've not seen that before, Sammy. Your high was the first time I saw that. I think chat's definitely got issues. Luke Dawson, love your videos. Uh, you're such an influence to the gaming community. I love supporting you, keeping up the absolutely amazing work. Oh, that's very nice of you, Luke. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Thank you for the bits as well. I seem to remember on Sunday I had Twitch issues as well. <laughs> your messages are showing in Twitch chat now, but only one in three showing on your stream. Well, the other thing is I've got Twitch chat open in a Twitch window as well. And so far, everything's coming through. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, some other resources like coal, copper, gas, iron, and oil have a limited amount available. We will have to be careful how we use them. Right, okay. So water and sand is infinite, and the other stuff is not. Hmm. Gatherers for these raw resources need to be placed near their corresponding resource, but do not need roads to connect their harvesters and hubs to function. Open the gatherer tab. Place a coal mine. There's three coal harvesters. It's a bit weird that you, the way you, yeah. Normally you just put like a building down next to a resource and it grabs it with this game. You put a building down, then you have to put these other harvesters down. It's definitely different. I can't see my chat on my PC, but I can see it on the stream. I need to reload. Something's going on. Steve IO, welcome back. Uh, Guzzy29, just a quick update. My new son, Leonidas, is doing great for coming so early. He's now three pounds. Oh, congrats. Congrats, Guzzy. I'm sure he'll be fine, mate. 
my nephew was born premature. I think he was only like three and a half pounds or something. And after a bit of uh, treatment a few weeks later, he was piled the weight back on. There we go. Welcome back, Crawley. A collector on a silo. I don't know. This is called a harvester. Place a lumber yard. Let's see how the tree thing works. Place three lumber yard harvesters. So that's going to gather from the trees around it, I assume. Trees and fish will deplete, but they are renewable. Fish will respawn over time, and we can plant trees, then wait for them to grow. Interesting. Place 10 trees near the lumberyard. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, near the lumberyard or near the harvesters? Nighthawk, think of the bits. Let's see if I can give you these now. Seems to work. Nighthawk, thank you. How many? 10. Oh. Little tiny saplings. Close the terraforming window. Open the logistics tab in the construction bar. Okay, what's that then? Logistics. Click on a warehouse in the logistics construction bar. Warehouses work as central hubs to distribute products among buildings within its radius or between other warehouses using logistic requests. Blimey! Pretty reminiscent of these kind of games used to be years ago, similar to Command & Conquer. But with warehouses. <laughs> I don't remember, to be honest, Jack. Which one does it want this? Okay. Select the dirt road. We know how to do that. Welcome back. Not Place the road between the water siphon and the wires. Oh right, so that's oh that's you've got to do the exit as well. It's a one-way system. There you go. Open up the tech tree. How? <laughs> oh, top right. Holy moly. <laughs> I must admit, I like the layout of the tech tree, though. That's quite nice. When you consider, like, Satisfactory's tech tree. Isn't very satisfactory. EV3201, 26 months, don't mind me. Just trying to get rid of the purple button. <laughs> Snow Jesus, thank you for 23. There will be some kind of building you put down, then a collector you'd have to build separate of that, which would go to get the resource. Yeah, I think I, I remember that now. Unlock wheat and vegetable. At the beginning of each game, we get three free unlocks. After that, we have to spend money and time to research and unlock. After we select some unlocks, let's place the crop farm. Okay, unlock a wheat field. Requirements, water. Uh, unlock. We have... Water already unlocked, interestingly. Unlock a vegetable field. Requirement is water as well. Able to produce vegetables on a crop farm. Close the tech tree. Okay. Limey. <laughs> Plan is play KSP. No. King Awesome. Thank you for 46 months. Uh, open farms tab at the bottom. Click on the crop farm. Okay. Place three fields in the highlighted area. Close the panel. Open the road construction panel. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, close, yeah, okay. Ooh. Oh, we're actually going to go and sell something now, are we? 
Uh, Benjamin Stubbs, thank you very much for 1,050 bits. Good morning. I hope you and the family are well. Got pranked on by the shop superintendent with some lovely homemade Dragon Breath Carolina Reaper beef jerky that burned my mouth for four hours. <laughs> Keep up the good work and look forward to meeting you one day. Benjamin, dude. <laughs> That's a nasty prank. I think you should have grabbed some yogurt and just sat there just drinking yogurt. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Um, I think you're in the States, aren't you? I'll be at FS Expo in June, if you can make it, if you want to meet me there. Open the Chapwick Farmer's Market. Can we move this? It's kind of in the way. There we go. That's better. Yeah, water's no good for chili because chili doesn't dis chili's an oil product. It doesn't dissolve in water. So you have to take an organic product like yogurt or milk. That's the only way to cool it down. People drink water, but it doesn't actually do very much. <laughs> it's so early, 9.30 a.m. I was awake at nine. Mrs. Frosty, how you doing? You've been having a lovely run this morning. Yeah, it's nice weather. Tea works, Bob. Doesn't it? Isn't tea just water, though? What are we doing? Open up the crop farm's production. Right, so the farmer's market is requesting vegetables, berries, eggs, oranges, milk, cocoa, olives, and potato. Um... If we check the farmer's market to see what vegetables have a higher value than wheat. What do you mean it has a higher value than wheat? It doesn't have a value for wheat. Berries, olives, cocoa, milk, oranges, eggs, potato, and vegetables. It doesn't have wheat. <laughs> DCS, crazy geek. I'd like to, mate. You're going to book your flight for TwitchCon CA? CA. Well, I'm only going to TwitchCon EU myself. If you manage to get chili or similar product in your eye, the solution is to soak a piece of paper or something in milk and gently press, not rub. Personally, I think I'd use kitchen roll. I would never put a piece of paper near my eye. <laughs> no way. Um, set the crop farm's production to vegetables. Vegetables, 35 days. Okay, set. Are you sure oh, you want yeah, to change yeah. the recipe? All used ingredients will be dumped. Yes. Yes. Can't click it. Okay. That looks like wheat to me. That's not vegetables. Benjamin did four bottles of milk and four bottles of orange juice and still hardly helped. Yikes. <laughs> uh, place a road connection between the warehouse oh, blimey. and Chatwick. Okay. Open the warehouse building. <clears throat> when we send product to a shop within a settlement or the state, the product will be sold for money. This funding can be now be used to expand our product lines and research new tech. Request transport of a product. Choose a desktop. What's all this other stuff? Incoming products, outgoing products. Wow. <laughs> PS4 Gamer, thank you for 51 months. Uh, click on destination. <clears throat> Farm produce. Vegetables. Okay, I take it the vegetables from here is going to automatically move to the warehouse and then this is going to basically send them to the farmer's market. Choose a destination. Commercial. 
Chatwick Farmer's Market, distance 34 tiles. So you set up your own little transport routes. Interesting. Chat is back, Misty. Presley, how are you doing? No, whenever assigning a destination, we will only see buildings that will accept the chosen product with the destination at the top of the list being the closest choice. That just changed. Why is that a wheat field? After assigning a destination, we can choose the maximum amount stored. We can then leave the value at infinite, which will keep sending product to the destination until its storage is full. We can also set a specific amount of the destination to be stored, allowing us to fine tune the production line. Use a plus one to set the maximum amount stored to five. Maximum amount stored at destination. So if I'm reading this correctly, when the farmer's market has five items of vegetables, it will stop sending them. Yeah, it won't let me spit fire. It won't let me click anything at the moment. We can use the same method of micromanaging destinations to any building. We can forge using the warehouse to automatically distribute products. Congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. And know oh, the absolute yeah, yeah. basics. <laughs> Go start a new game. Maybe start slow with a newcomer difficulty and get rich. Oh, well. <laughs> that was a short tutorial. <laughs> um, Mrs. Frosty with 39 months. Nice shiny purple button has appeared. Love the streams as always. And uh, being this nutty community. Sorry, not been around much, but I do lurk sometimes. Uh, keep up the great work. No problem, Mrs. Frosty. Thank you very much. You saw a picture of the monitor. Presley, mate. I've boxed it all up now. That monitor was insane. I think someone posted it. I posted it on Twitter. I think somebody posted it in the Discord chat. But I don't know. If you never saw it, it was that's the one he's on about. That was me just before I unboxed it. I was filming I filming the last two days covering this monitor. <laughs> Rise of industry, rise of trucking, rise of the squirrel. Lol. Um. <clears throat> That's kind of like what it looked like. What's that? That was that was Siege. Look at that. That was Rainbow Six Siege playing. You like my cheesy grin? <laughs> it was some like boy with a toy look, wasn't it? Oh, there you go. I was playing Euro Truck with it. That was it playing Euro Truck. You can kind of, see, I don't know if you can see in the picture, you can kind of see the, um, the kind of framing that you get with Euro Truck. You can see the opposite pillar in the cab. So you can see the whole windscreen and then out of your side window as well. It's insane the view that you get. <clears throat> uh, that video will be out probably on Sunday. <clears throat> it's being edited. There you go, just to give you an idea of the view. You see that? It's just nuts. Like, it's actually insane. It's uh, it's equivalent, like my, my I've got 27 inch monitors. I have three of them. It's equivalent to two of them, but in one monitor. It's just, I did flight sim on it as well, Spitfire. I didn't take a photo, but I did flight sim on it. <clears throat> Happy anniversary, Nutter. Let me see if I can uh, quickly find something. One sec. Second, I'm going to give you guys some sneak peek footage here. Sneak peek footage. This is how nice I am to you. Look at this. Welcome back. I mean, obviously, I can only show you on one monitor, but it will it'll give you an idea. 
that was a recording. <laughs> Uh, just to give you an idea of the kind of view that you get off that monitor. It's just wide. <laughs> it's absolutely brill for um, like driving and flying and stuff because you can just see like an insane amount of stuff. Which monitor is that? It's the XG49V. It's Asus's new 49 inch monitor. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. But if you take a standard 1920 1080, that fits into one half of this. So this is two 1920 1080 images next to each other in one seamless monitor. It's just crazy. It's so nice. But, yeah. Why can't I move that now? Come on. There we go. Go. Um, yeah, you'll see it all in the video, basically. <clears throat> you'll see it all in the video. I do flight sim in it. I do some trucking in it. I do some shooting in it. Uh, and then, then just talk about, like, yeah, it's not a cheap monitor. These monitors I have, these are about £370 each. So for that one monitor, you could buy these three. And that makes part of the discussion. You know, because there's pros and cons in each. Those single widescreen monitors are a very niche product, so they're very expensive. But I gotta tell you, I didn't want to send it back. <laughs> like, I just wanted to carry on using it. It is really, really nice. What kind of graphics cards do you need? Addy, if your graphics card can do 4K, then driving that monitor is half of that. Yeah? Yeah, it's not cheap, but boy, is that a nice monitor. To Jalf, thank you for 34 months. Hello, sir. Uh, ben GT 22 I like the new schedule. Thank you. Uh, Kieran, with 35 months, the Ashman Studio, just in case my heavy eyes don't make it, I'm going to leave this here. Might have to call it a night. Ashman, thank you very much for 2,500 bits. That's really nice support. I shall bid you good night in case you fall asleep. Uh, Map, are you talking about Quirk? <clears throat> because Quirk's monitor, if you're talking about Quirk, um, I think Quirk's monitor, I can't remember the width of it, but it might not be as wide as that one. <laughs> so he went from triple to a single widescreen. But I don't know if it's as wide as that. I, but it's 49 inch, it must be, I guess. But is his 1080 or 1440? Have I pre-ordered? Me? No. The problem I face... The problem I face with a monitor like that is... How do I record and stream? Yeah. <laughs> That's my problem. I can't record and stream an image that wide. Which creates an issue for me. I would love to just play on a monitor like that. But in terms of recording and streaming, it presents a problem. So what Quirk does, he basically races and just shows the middle bit of the screen. And then there's a camera behind that shows the whole thing. It's a bad idea, Stream Friday. Keep getting distracted. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, if you want to do streaming on YouTube in the ultra wides are a... A bit of a barrier to that in a way. Uh, let's do Korea, I guess. Expand your horizons without worry about money, tech tree, or regions. Build your imp. Let's do this. Oh boy. Map size, medium. Minimum 16 gig RAM. Did you see that? Minimum 16 gig of RAM? Oh. Can't you scale the image down for streaming? Nah. You would have massive black borders above and below. You'd ha you have to literally just slice the image. What well, you want, Paul, is to get three of them. <laughs> if you put three of them, you could probably, like, get around most of the room. <laughs> 1080p, 
Town Industries, yes. River Generation. Cup of tea? Yes, please. Stevie, makes you wonder what kind of monitors will be available in five to ten years' time. Dude, I can't imagine. I, I can just see a monitor that is like 180. Just a single monitor that is like a 180 view. So you can be driving along and just like look left, look right. Happy anniversary. <laughs> imagine that. That's immersion, that is. Preset newcomer. I think that's what it suggested, wasn't it? Start loan 15 million. Settlement demand. No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. Play. <laughs> Sam Blackshaw. Thank you for 26 months. Uh, Hendo. Thanks, Squirrel, for the awesome content and a massive credit to you and the mods for having the least toxic chat room on the internet. That's some achievements. Thank you, Hendo. It's pretty accurate. Langevelt, how are you doing? I'm sure the monitor has a way to split the screen in three. Tycho, it has an even cleverer thing than that. It has the facility. It has multiple inputs, right? And it has the facility for you, if you want to, to literally split the display according to the inputs. So what you can do, you could have, like, your PC in the, in the middle section of the screen... It can you can then tell it to have your PlayStation like on the right, so you could be watching I don't know Twitch or something on your PlayStation on the right hand of the screen, playing a game on the middle, and then on the left you can hook it up to something else. It's not so you can you can tell the monitor to physically split the image based on different inputs. <clears throat> uh, what's this then? Welcome to Rise of Industry. Let's begin by placing the headquarters. You can place it anywhere and it will grant a full permit for the region it's in. If you want to, you can disable the helpers in the interface settings. Happy wow. So now we've got to decide. Eubank. Reminds me of Chris Eubank. Humbird, Greenwood. Kind of like the idea of being t near two towns rather than one town. That's a massive town, isn't it? Look at that. How big is that? 221,000. Here you can see what shops have been placed, what kinds of products they are going to produce. Try not to produce something the settlement is aiming at. It's town prosperity stagnating. Click on the shop to open its panel and see what products they're interested in buying. A farmer's market, hardware store. So many products, so many choices. <laughs> You're not wrong. Here you can see what this settlement wants and how much it's willing to pay. Note that selling something at 100% means there's very little profit, so try to aim at very high percentages. Gotcha. Uh, what do you mean, what's up with the convoy, Angus? If you had a spare thousand, you might invest, but uh, it's out of your league. That's fair enough. It's out of most people's league. Uh, stand P? Stand PC? See you later. Yeah, Supernova, I was thinking that. It's a little bit of transport fever, but it, it kind of more reminds me of um, like Railroad Tycoon or Transport Tycoon type game. So they'll buy mutton, hops. I guess we need to go for basic food like vegetables. That's a 65% margin on that. What else have we got? Hardware store. I guess these are more advanced products. We're not going to make these initially. Are we like leather and sand? My sand we can. Produced at the sand collector. I, I, can, I don't mind selling them sand. If I remember, sand is an infinite product. <laughs> I'm not sure where we find sand, but hey. Uh, is there a way of showing what? Logistics, factories, farms, bridges, tunnels. How do we see what resources are around? Or do we just make what we want? 
Like, obviously I can see where I can get water from, but where can I get sand from? And if I wanted coal, I can't see coal. Maybe my head is stuck in Transport Tycoon at this point. Uh, Matty H, thank you for 30 months. I guess we'll just build it here. I, I don't really know. We're probably going to get it wrong. Um, headquarters. So we'll, we'll put the that we'll put the HQ on the edge of town because why not? <laughs> that was very dramatic. Please keep in mind this is an industrial simulator game. Try to find out what towns want instead of producing products you might never be able to sell. Uh, click on the various settlements to see what shops they have. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to go straight for sand, because sand sounds pretty easy. You want to set up a bus line between two towns, lol. Coal is underground. Yeah, but it often shows... it. On the tutorial, if you was watching, it shows little coal blobs on top of the surface. Like, for example, that. That's copper. So we know there's copper here. And the coal were like little black blobs. But I was kind of... There's oil, obviously. I was kind of hoping for... um, Be able to toggle the display. Farms, factories, logistics, pollution. Is it up here, maybe? Production overview. Your map name goes here. Interesting. Looks like you can't place any of these until you research some products in the tech tree. Oh, yeah, we've got to do the tech tree thing, haven't we? I remember. So at the moment, we could do water. Where's sand? Heavy industry, iron, coal mine, sand, unlocked. Able to produce sand at a sand collector. Okay. Factories then, maybe. Drinks, food, preservation, all these are locked. Hmm. Must be a gatherer. Sand collector. There we go. The sand collector uses harvesters to collect units of sand from coastal... Oh, from coastal tiles along any body of water on the map. Do I need to put it within the circle, do you think? Oh, there you go. Look. That pink edge there. Is that pink edge saying there's sand here? Because it doesn't work for this one. What's the significance of that, then? I guess if we just, like... Where's the road? Let's turn it around. If we just, like, build it here with a load of sand coastal stuff, I'm kind of hoping it'll be able to collect... Hundred and twenty five K, there we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Construction alert. Must be built on shore tiles. Wait, what? No harvesters. Sand collector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do the harvesters now. Oh, I forgot about that. I don't need to build that next to the thing. It's these things that matter. Where's the road? Okay, I think it's happy with that. So I just got we're just gonna get some road between them.
Harvesting time, 10 days. Harvester's place, three of three. Building efficiency, 100%. Um, I guess we just need to build a road. Out of here. And then maybe put like a warehouse on it. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, farms, factories, logistics. It's probably uh, a logistics hub. Thing alert. Cannot reach warehouse sand collector. You can now. Right. Well, you can't reach that. Why not? Oh, I know why. We've got to do the exit. There we go. Right. So as far as I understand this game so far, that will now put sand into the warehouse, and then we set up a logistic route from here to sell the sand into Wharton, however we say it. Where do I need to move the webcam to, Mrs. Frosty? You've got a new job working shift work making chess sets. I'm on nights next week. Oh, Pringle. Howard Slayer, four years, mate. Good morning from Sleepy Nutter. Keep up the good work. Thank you for 48 months, Harry. Happy anniversary. Is it basically transport fever? I think it's a bit early to make that call. Right, so... What's them if we click on a Were them? Why oh, can't I click on that? Hardware store takes sand. Where's the hardware store exactly? Minimize target building. There it is. Right, so that hardware store there. So if we click on this and say destination, uh, raw resources, sand to uh, Wortham hardware store. I don't know how much they'll want. 14 per 15 days. So what should we set the maximum to? I don't know. It's just pure guesswork. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Say half of that? Let's go for seven. Hmm. Is this thing paused or what? At normal speed, a game day is seven and a half real, wo real world seconds. A month has 30 game days and a year is 12 months. Speed up time by pressing the arrows times two or stop time by pressing the pause button or space bar. Okay, okay. Now we're, now we're starting to see stuff. Let's see how this goes. Uh, James1987, walk back, Twitch baby nine months. Product progression. Okay, so the bottom right shows January the 5th. Year 1. So we should see, I guess we should see trucks coming out of here into there, and then trucks going into here, and then trucks going there and selling stuff, I think. There you go.
Alrighty then. We're actually starting to move some goods. Warehouse analysis. I guess we've got to look at the finance side of things at some point. Do you need to buy trucks? No, they seem to be... I think they're part of the cost of running the building. I don't think you deal with the vehicles themselves. So presumably this guy... Him. Yeah, look, he's on his way to the hardware store. So that seems to have worked. Stagnating. So when they arrive, we should see this. Look at the pain, 190% now. There you go, one stored. Yay! Did we get paid for that? I don't know if that made a difference to the town. Region, contracts, no active contracts. Right, well, we've set up one supply line. Mini budget overview. Loans, fines, this doesn't look good, does it? Vehicle upkeep. Where's our income? Slot capacity 74 units. It's interesting that you can only have three destination slots per warehouse. What's this? Outgoing products. Toggle destination slot. Seems quite detailed. All right, maybe we should set something else up. Let's have a look at the tech tree. So we could bring coal and Iron? Let's see what else they want. Oil. Produced at the oil drill. Uh, wood. We could bring wood in. Pays 171%. That's not bad. Let's get some wood because we could probably harvest this lot. What's going on over here then? The lumber yard. How come they've got their own lumber yard? Hmm. Looks like skylines and transport fever. Kind of. Uh, let's see. Gatherers, farms, factories. I think maybe we have to tech unlock that. Carpentry. Oh no, we've got wood unlocked. Table to produce at the lumber mill. Alright, so we can do the gatherers thing. Uh, let's see. Lumber yard. We can build it like that. And then Is that not connected? There we go. So, uh, I don't know if we should use the same warehouse. I'll build another one. Reminds you of Open TTD. What's the price of this game? I think it's £20 on Steam. Something like that. Orion Ray, welcome. 
Uh, so let's see. We need to set up a link to there. Because I assume they're going to bring it here. I don't know. Yep, looks like they're going to bring it here. So we'll set up another... Raw resources, wood. And destination... Is the Wortham hardware store. Now, does that mean you could set up a delivery to these guys as well? Because they want wood as well. Partially supplied. Used in heavy pulp, paper roll, planks. Blimey. I'll have to start making some money. The money's going down. What I don't understand is, like, if I was to build a third one, a third something else, they would gather into that warehouse. If I build a fourth, I would have to build a second warehouse. So how would I tell each one of these which warehouse to go into? There's a free demo. I didn't know that. <clears throat> Some warehouses since we have two slots left. Yeah, we do currently. Incoming slots two. Outgoing slots are zero. Deliveries two. We should probably set a limit on this as well. How much do they want? They want 14 per 15 days. I'll put that on seven as well. Actually, we'll put it on 10 maximum. I presume that's working, but I have no idea. Okay, what else do they want? So that's going to get them some... Yeah, it looks like the... There's an up arrow on the sand. There's an up arrow on the gas, but I'm not bringing that in. There's an up hour on the coal, but I'm not bringing that in. I wonder why they want such raw materials. Choose the headquarters model. Huh. Research, unlock queue. Contracts, advancement. I guess we should get into some farming. Like vegetables or wheat or something. What do they want? Vegetables to pay 179%. Fish? Produced at a fisherman pier. We can get a fish. Uh, coal, copper, gas... Fisherman's Pier, there we go. I take it we can just build it here. Well, let me build it. Too close. Must be built on shore tiles. Oh, there you go. It has to be like a straight edge. Interesting. So it might go there, for example. You can put it there. And then must be placed on fish. Oh no, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> um oh there's fish, look. Oh no. There's no fish here. Abort, how do I move it? How do I move this thing? No. M? No. Drag? No. Right click. 
and minimize disable how do I move it apparently fish don't swim in this water let's have a look at the settings controls key bindings Grab hand, right mouse button, fly up, fly down. Fly by camera. Fly by walk, alt, run, shift. What's all this? Wait, undo. Undo a building operation. No. Oh boy, H to go to home, got that. Region toggle, not sure what that's for. Toggle product icons, alt key. That sounds like Factorio. Grid toggle, demolish hotkey is B. Eyedropper hotkey is X. Yeah, look, if you press the Alt key, that's quite handy. What was F9? Oh, F9 is the region thing. Show some weird border. Refund. Oh, you get a refund. That's not so bad. Uh, right, there's fish here. So we'll build a fisherman's pier in the right place this time. It's quite a drive back to town, blimey. It's not quite big enough to capture all three. That's one option. Actually, there's two there, isn't there? It's fine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, must be built within owner's range, must be placed on fish. All right. I don't know if you get competitors. I've, I have no clue. Dark Variable, good afternoon. Thank you for $2, Dark Variable. Hope you're well. Does anyone know which tabletop scroll uses? Got one of those from my IKEA ones, but the wood is not tough enough to withstand your monitor and stand. Uh, I have said this in previous Studio Tours videos, with my apologies, but it is a B&Q kitchen worktop, is what this is. The B&Q kitchen worktop. I believe they are something like... Three and a half to four centimeters thick. They come in like three meter lengths and you cut them to size. And then underneath are uh, along the back wall is, is a, a batten. So you mount a batten to the wall. It sits on that at the back and then you kind of screw clamp it into the batten with one of those 90 degree things. You know what I mean? And then at the front, you can buy these supporting legs. They also sell them at B&Q. Uh, there are standard heights. They do extend it a little bit, but there are standard heights, just enough to fit a chair under. So they're not expensive, these legs, different styles. But that's a kitchen worktop. SQD3, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the net house. Can we give him a nutty welcome, guys? All right, I need to get a road to somewhere useful. I'm kind of thinking we'll put a... a warehouse down. Somewhere around here. Logistics warehouse. I don't know if that needs to be within that area. I guess that answers that question. 
Hmm. Actually, that should, in theory, work. There we go. Playing Fallout 4. Nice. Today's sponsor is B&Q. <laughs> well, you can get to Wix if you want. Auto save in progress. Demolishing gives back 75% of the building's value. If you demolish something you place while paused, you get a full refund. Ah, that's worth knowing. That's worth knowing. Because I've been losing 25% on this stuff. Alright, so if we click that and then say send little fishies to uh, Wortham Farmer's Market. Fourteen per fifteen days. Okay, we've got some stuff happening. Make the outgun run from the warehouse to the left side of the building, so you don't lose efficiency of the trucks. Yeah, I think that's why it was complaining because I didn't. Wait, what? Make the outgoing road within the warehouse on the left side of the building. Oh, you mean rotate this? So you're thinking of bringing it out here? Oh, you mean so they get closer to town? Actually, you can just do both. Because don't forget, you've got... You've got trucks that are going to go here, and you've also got trucks that are going to return. So you kind of need both, really. So how do we know? Ah, the town's growing. Interesting. Contracts, region. Are we actually making money? Because it kind of feels like we've gone from 14 point something million to 13. <laughs> I don't feel like we're making much money here. Products sold. Here we go. This month, 40k. Oh, wait. No. Building construction, 150k. So that's an investment. R&D expenses, vehicle upkeep, building upkeep. All right. So if we were to ignore the construction cost, then we are netting profit. So that's good. That's gone red because... Oh, I see. The green is like a load level. It kind of, It shows you like filling up through the circle. Interesting that you don't get one for here. You know what I didn't do? I didn't tell this to um, do vegetables. Wait a minute. Crop farm. This is this is my building. Who's this scumbag? In fact, it says owner is worth them. Who are these scumbags? I thought we built the farm. Or we or we are worth them? No, it says buy building. Wait, what's going on here? Wheat field, sugar field, wheat field. Did we put down? 
They were automatically placed while you were busy. What the heck, man? You better not be using my warehouse. Where are you going? Did I put down a, f a farm or not? Because now I'm beginning to question myself. <laughs> we were going to build vegetables, wasn't we? Wasn't that the tech tree unlock? Oh, we never did it. Right. Oh, we need to get a water source as well. Where are they getting the water from, eh? That's what I want to know. It didn't put it down. Right, I'm going to pause it. Um, water siphon. So you need water for your, for your crops, don't you? Here looks like a decent area for croppage. Because it's closer than then. <laughs> but we'll need to get water. We could, pro we could sell them water. I take it this circle is shown with a warehouse. Get the siphon out of there, maybe. I can't remember how many siphons you have to put down. I'm just going to set it back off the road. So I could put like. One more, one more, one more. I don't know who they're going to sell water to. Some pause it, see what happens. They may just sell water to these guys as well. Okay, they're loading up on water anyway. Yeah, burn their farms, Guzzy. Burn them to the ground. 